welcome to our advanced hallworks uh, workshop for run by mechanical engineering club. Uh, some of you guys are new, uh, but during this class, we're going to teach you guys um, some more advanced skills that were uh, built upon from the workshop run by Wii. Specifically, we're going to teach you guys how to do assemblies using the parts that you may have made during the Wii workshop, and we're also going to teach you how to do. Um, Half extrudes, and if we have time, we're also going to teach you guys how to do simulations in SolidWorks. And so we're going to start off with the assemblies, and uh, we gave you guys a part from Wii, and Francisco is going to teach you guys how to do assemblies in SolidWorks. So take it away, Francisco. Okay, guys. So we have SolidWorks open, right? Okay. Because we're going to do this nice and easy. I'm not going to go fast. information of what we're going to be doing today for this workshop is going to be mates. So what mates are in SOLIDWORKS are basically the relationships that some parts have with others. So let's say you have uh, basically like an anatomy, let's say, like your, your body, one of the mates is between your, your forearm and your the upper arm, right? That's between the elbow, that's your mate because it's joining it together. If there was not no mate per se, then you know, your arm wouldn't be attached to it. So, s what some of the engineers do, like out there in the industry now, is that they they do all these mates. You can have, you know, all these parts together and put them into an assembly to form something, you know, useful. So, we're going to open assembly. If you guys can, just again, go up to here to your almost where it says new. Click down, click new. And open the assembly folder for the file. Let me know if you guys are on here. on here already? On this window? So the next step you guys want to do is look to your left hand side on the upper left hand side and click on enter components. And this window pops up. So what you want to do is search for your um, Lego pieces and this should be under Lego project. Or if you were attending the Weave workshops, then use the part that you guys were using for that and open it up. workshop, you two, uh, which part were you guys basically working on? Was it like the three pins or was it the four pin ones? Which one do you guys have? Four. The four? Alright. So we're going to click this piece, which is the, the one that was being used by Wii. We're going to click this and click open. And you have your piece. And it's floating around and what we want to do is set it to the origin. So instead of you know doing anything else, and you're you're holding on to the piece, just click the uh, green arrow check here, the green check, click OK, and that sets the piece to the origin. It's not going to move. So if I try to move this, it's not going to move. Your two bar look like this. Right. So what we want to do, something useful in SolidWorks, is that we want to see the different faces of our piece. So 
So what we want to do is right click basically on this white space or anywhere on this toolbar, right click, and we're going to go down and select sender views. That opens this little thing here. And we're gonna drag it all the way here. Another useful toolbar that we wanna use in this case is gonna be view. Do the right, same thing. Right click on the, any white space on the toolbar. Click view. And that opens that. We're gonna drag this, we're gonna keep it together. We just want you guys to get familiar with the uh, clean up the toolbar. Huh? Yeah. Something <laughs> cashier doesn't do. <laughs> you got it, Ms. Posache? My menu looks different. Really? Yeah, What's wrong with it? The one where it's just this one, like, take snapshot, take snapshot and, and other stuff like that. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, you don't need this. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I, could, I think I could just like get rid of these. So again, once you click that green check mark, this piece is not going to move. Keeps it set at the origin, so it's probably somewhere in the back or here. Okay, the next step is that we want to do is bring out another piece into the uh, the assembly, right? So we're going to zoom out, and we're going to do the same thing again. Insert components, and this pop-up menu pops up again. So we're going to select the same piece, the Lego piece, Lego A piece. We're gonna click OK, and instead of you know clicking the green check mark again, we have it you know selected with our mouse. We're just gonna click anywhere on the screen and drop it in there. Now this piece is free to roam because we we could either have it next to it, on top of it, underneath it, on the side front or back. And we want to have that liberty of moving the piece around. Around. We want to make sure that this piece is free roam. Yeah. Is it Pasache? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, now the actually let's let's add three pieces, uh, another piece in here. So let's do the same thing. Insert components. Same pop up pops up again. Mm -hmm. Select the uh, your piece. Click OK. And just anywhere on the white space here, just Click on it and drop it. You got two pieces now. And this one doesn't move. Make sure this one doesn't move at all. Also, we want to uh, we kind of want to understand the ins and outs of the program. So another little key uh, thing you guys want to note is you see these F and the minus and the minus. 
the first piece that we put in there is labeled as that. If you click on it, it turns blue. That means that it's fully defined in that space because it's selected at the or right? And we select the other ones and they're labeled as minus. So we click on one, that's minus, and that's minus, right? What does that mean? Basically what that means is that this piece is unmated, it has no mates, it has no relationship to any piece on the assembly, and therefore that's why it's free to move. Once we start mating and creating these relationships with this main piece here, these are gonna start turning into apps that are fully defined. So once we have our three pieces here, we're gonna select mate, upper left. Are they ever positive? Excuse me? Are they ever positive or is it just uh, arbitrary? It's just either between uh, a negative and a, an F. If it's negative, it means they're underdefined. That's the actual 